So, I don't know why Kevin left. Uh, so he's gotta go see a girl or something, probably. Oh, uh, hey, I don't blame him, bro. The wrist, the wrist is I do, is I do a lot for see a girl, you know. Nah, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is maybe the reason why you're. <laughs> All right, so let's him. talk about this. Let's talk about the picture I brought up. To the so, I think everyone's seen this picture. If you've not, um, then you don't have Instagram. But yeah, here, I'll, br- I'll show. I'll bring the picture up. I'll bring it up there. Let me see if I can pull it up. Yo, yeah, because uh, we got the context. Go, go, go run that down to Kevin real fast. Go, go run that down to Kevin. Go, 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 no, go. I don't want it's to. Kevin's loss. It's Kevin. It's Kevin's <laughs> loss. Kevin left. All right. My phone. So gonna... we've all seen this picture, Wait, and I, want... I hope you guys have all seen. But, so I've got a question for the Peacock and for the Ethan. What the hell is going on? Dude, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that was the morning that we were, that, that was the morning practice. That was the morning practice. I remember that day. It was the worst day of my life. And the reason because was because I walked into the shower, right? And, you know, I'm washing my hair and stuff. I get yanked out of the bathroom, butt booty naked. I'm, <laughs> in, the, I'm in the shower. I had soap all in my hair. I get yanked out. I steal someone else's towel, and I start just, I start just running to my locker, right? I slip, fall, feet feet vertical in the air. The towel comes off, I'm butt booty naked, laying flat on the ground, bro. Butt booty naked. <laughs> butt crazy. booty naked, flat on the ground. And I look over, I look over, and Coach Moore is in the middle of <laughs> Davis Goldpepper and Davin Lundquist. Both of them are butt ass naked. <laughs> and, they're, and they're sandwiching Coach Moore, bro. I remember. And Coach Moore sees me on the ground just <laughs> accepting my defeat. <laughs> and I still have the shampoo in my hair. And he says, Ethan, get up and come into my office. I, I get terrified, bro. I get in his office. He gives me a private shower. Like this shower. Bro. And that, I get to use that. That one is so nice, though. You know why? Like, so... I, you can, okay, this is not See, weird. Right? okay, for any other, so, like, perspective, a private shower at, for a male teacher is always a bad thing. Do not accept these. No, no, <laughs> it was Coach very Cass. different. <laughs> Coach very Cass, we're okay. I was able to lock the door behind me, you know, I was safe. All right. Coach so, Steele moment. <laughs> so, this is not an old middle school. There's, like, a girls' locker room, there's a boys' locker room, and there's a coach, there's a coaching staff in, like, the center, right? So, the girls' locker room isn't really used anymore besides when the girls are wrestling, but, like, they don't really don't – when we have a meet, they're not there. So yeah. we're allowed to go in the locker room and use the showers if we need to. Swear to God, they like the girls more because that's always the hot water, bro. bro. It's always bro. the hot water. Do you guys really? not get hot water? Bro, but it's freezing. It's like, <laughs> cold. <laughs> cold, bro. It feels like bullets hitting you when you get in that cold shower, dude. Dude, I'm telling you. It shovels up your Coach nuts Moore so much. Coach Moore has the freaking – whatever he wants, bro. I was like mm-hmm. – when I got in that shower, I turned that thing on. Like, oh, so we're pretty, we're pretty sure – for golf, it was uh, coach. Coach Cavs was there, not for not for practicing, not for anything. No, bro, just got a free round of golf each time he came with <laughs> us. So we'll be like one day. I remember this really like really vag- vaguely. I was going out and we hit the range right, and we're about to walk six holes because it's almost dark, and. You just see him with his little golf cart driving around. <laughs> so we're on hole we're on four now, we're hole seven now, and. We see him teeing off a hole three. Bro, I think bro put it in the water twice. And then put it on the green. And then Boldy came up to us and was like, I shot a par, guys. <laughs> I'm like, what? Bro like, shot it in the water twice. <laughs> Took him four tries to get on the green. And says, par. Bro. <laughs> and then, so I, I, so we go everywhere when we did, we did this last year. I was a sophomore. And we went up to... Quit, quit rubbing your inner thigh, okay. bro. You're making me uncomfortable. Trying well, to give me a boner or do something? Do you want me to yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were, we, were, we, were, we were playing up at uh, Green Island Country Club, which if you don't know where that is, uh, let's just say rich white people have money. They do. And they do. So, we were there, and you come by the parking lot. It's like Corvette, Corvette, Porsche, Porsche, Corvette. Mustang Mercedes, right there. <laughs> Mustang. And we're just like, I'm just like. Holy crap. You know these guys have like $15,000 golf here. sets and shit, bro. Yeah, so I come up. I'm a whole five. And I didn't know I did. So Coach Moore was like talking about how we're going to like pro V1s and stuff. And oh. he'll get us to him. I ran out of balls about the fifth hole in. Because I'll, I'll be honest. I was last year, I was total dog shit at this sport. And I had two of the water. Whoa, 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 whoa. Golf is not a sport. Let's, <laughs> let's stop calling it a sport. 
It that just, is a gentleman's game. Get it right, Chris. Okay. The gentleman, the rich white people game. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa. Tiger Woods was better than all you guys. So you can't. It's, <laughs> no, it's, it's, no, it's no longer a rich white person's game. Okay, so. It is now rich, just a game. Oh, I gotta tell you something. We were going to the DG, dude, and we were going to grab drinks for whatever, dude. We went past the section. Me and Kevin were like, dude, I, I looked over to the freezer section, bro. I said, bro, we should get watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. And I, dude, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was like, bro, we should get a little watermelon. And Kevin goes, you, you weren't thinking about that, were you? <laughs> I was like, nah, bro. <laughs> wow. No. I was ready to pull up to my house with a watermelon, bro. <laughs> oh, by the way, so we're going to do a quick interruption here. Thank you. Um, so... Me and Ethan and the guys who have been sitting here have been realizing that to get in more touch with the crowd, if you see the wall on the left side of you... Yeah, let me angle, let me angle it better so I can see the wall. Yeah, right, push it up, push it up. Yeah. This wall all behind us, right? There you go. The wall. This wall. This musty-ass wall. We will put any picture that you guys have the top comment up. So if it's the top comment, it's like Donald Trump as like the smug face, we'll do it. The only thing we cannot do... Is the KKK. Yeah, I, I, I'm not putting KKK on my wall. Okay, I, I, I put some Trump propaganda up there. Uh, you guys want, like, two girls, one cup, like a scene from there up there or something. You know, if you guys want one man, one jar, like, right before he puts it in, like, I could put that all up there. But I'm, I'm drawing a line at KKK, okay? Uh, well, we have to um, put some more emphasis on this. It means, please, don't do it. I'm, I'm not going to put the KKK. I mean, I, I promise that. All right, now, a quick intermission over. Let's play. Yeah, yeah, let me edit this camera back. All right, so I want to talk about some more wrestling stories because, me personally. Because um, you don't know shit about wrestling. Anyone hear what we got to say? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me fix this thing a little, little bit, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not wearing any underwear underneath. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, hold on, let me talk about like that. Like usual. Dude, dude, when it was the second time me and Kevin ever wrestled for a black and gold. Uh, it's like a first. It's like a first match of the year to get us in tune with wrestling, like matches. I beat uh, Kevin is zero two against me. I beat that man twice in those things. Kevin said he's gonna come back to get his revenge. I doubt it. Doubt it, bro. I'm faster. I'm blacker. My feet are bigger. But no, you did. They're not bigger, but <laughs> yeah. But uh, I remember me and Kevin were walking out to the um, table, and I look over at him. And he looks over at me and it's like, and he he's, he's serious. Like he has his game face on. He's like, he looks, he's out there. He wants to kill me, bro. He he was listening to David Goggins in the locker room type shit. Wow. Tell me why we walk out there. I look at him. I say, hey, Kevin, I got no underwear on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he, gets, he looks at me, makes a disgusted face, gets on the mat and loses, bro. So Dude. wait, wait, is it just not? Is it just normal to not wear underwear? On Most the mat? people wear underwear, like. I mean, if you ask by like 10 people, 10 people, I bet eight of them are wearing underwear. So wait, so you're just freeballing him? I, I like to freeball it. It gets, and oh, it yeah. looks more presentable. I got you know? a question here. It's not. What happens, what happens <laughs> it's if, not, bro. What happens if you just hit your nuts on the mat? Oh, dude, that's happened so much, bro. Like, my nuts are made of steel. Okay, I've been bro, hitting Kevin, the nuts oh, so oh, much. Kevin, the host, Jimmy Wilmer, Oh, Kevin's talking? Kevin's hitting us up? Let's see what Pop Kev got to say. <laughs> he said, damn it. I sent him the picture of, of the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, the drink. he said, damn it. Bro, he <laughs> left without his drink. It's too, it was too late. Too late. Who picked him up? Joel oh, Rogers. Joel. Joel? Joel, yeah. Huh. What were they going to go do? Uh, he's hanging out with Addy. Abby. Ad Addy? Addy. Addy who? Is that, is that a Muslim girl? No. A Muslim? <laughs> <laughs> well, first, no, no, why does that matter? <laughs> no, he's <laughs> hanging out with... Uh, Oh, okay, okay, I understand. But, uh, you guys didn't see shit. I, I don't understand what's going on. Hey, hey, call me tits. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear a story that you've never heard about wrestling? Really? What, what story? So, alright, I'm getting picked up from, uh, do you remember, uh... We're not going to ignore that shit, right? <laughs> uh, it's eight, or it was like the... the I have no idea what you're trying to imply. I'm trying to, the, think, I'm trying to think of the, the tournament. Duh. Duh. <laughs> duh. Stephen Hawking. Hey, Stephen, Hawking <laughs> Stephen Hawking going with the kids. <laughs> duh. Yeah, duh. Shut up. Duh. <laughs> no, that's uh, crazy. Um, We're not going to bring up a, that a, a, it's, it's yeah. ALX. ALX. Oh, ALX, yeah. So, so I, placed, I placed second in that uh, freshman tournament, by the way. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was getting picked up late 
for the set. It was my second year doing ALX. Yeah. So I get I was picking getting picked up late and what's what's the old coach that we used to have that used to yell the hell out of us coach oh of course now i can't remember his name the guy like, from um just put, uh, a, put a random name out there i can't think of his name just put random name random but he name. was like he was wasn't he ex-military ex-military dude i remember i remember i met him and he had a foot injury i remember he broke his foot i can't remember I can't. his name either He's from Iowa, I think, he was pretty from sure. Iowa, yeah, he Iowa went coach. Back, I think was he moving back? He moved there? back. Remember, he was living with Coach Moore for a while, and he just moved back. Bro, they so I was getting picked up late. I my sister was picking me up, dude. Yeah. My sister was taking forever. It was like thirty minutes waiting. Coach Wingard was there, and what's his name was there too. Yeah. Or Co- Coach Baldy, or, or Coach. We'll call him Coach Bobby. Yeah, Coach Bobby. Coach, coach Bobby. Bobby. Yeah, coach Bobby. Say so Coach Bobby, and then shaved or what's it called? Buzz cut. Yeah. Buzz cut, and Coach Bobby was there. Right. All right. Um. So. Uh, they got the tr- we get we had, we got a trophy or whatever for placing like I don't remember like second or third or whatever. Yeah. So they had the trophy and they're like, yeah, bro. They like they're trying to be discreet about it. I'm I'm a, I'm a fresh or like sophomore. I'm I'm intelligent enough to know like they're going to a bar or something afterwards or whatever. Mm, yeah. And I'm like, dude, like I I look at I coach Bobby or not Bobby and coach uh, Shaved right, and I'm like, you can just tell me you're going to a bar or you're going to like a wing shop or whatever. And uh, he's like. No, no, no. That's Coach Moore, or uh, that's that's Coach uh, Katz, bro. He was trying to go to a and talk about it. Yeah. wrestling and like that. And Coach Bo- Bobby was like, "Dude, I'm so tired of him, bro. He was at uh, he was like there for Thanksgiving, where he, and that was the like only thing he talked about when he was at the <laughs> table, bro. Dude, I, like, I know, I know, freaking what's his son's name? Coach Moore's son. I know Coach Cav's son is just like tired of it. I know Mr. the rest of Mr. Brown, Mr. Mr. Brown will say that because you know yeah. what I'm saying. You, yeah. you see the correlation. Yeah. You see the correlation. <laughs> oh, Coach Cav. I got a guy found a story about Coach Cav's son. So Coach Cav used to bring his son to daycare at the YMCA. Oh yeah. That yeah. I was running for. Oh yeah. Yeah. So me, so I think it was just one time. He, I think it was. I think it was like five or six at the time. Oh, we're gonna put his name out. It's like Daryl. So Daryl, Daryl was playing with the kids, right? They were just playing like normal soccer games. Brown, Mr. Brown. Yeah, Mr. Brown. Get Mr. It. Brown. Get yeah, it, we'll call, that's that's Coach Moore's son's name. Okay, Mr. Mr. Brown. Brown. Get it, get it. Do you understand or no? I I got it. I got okay, it. Okay. <laughs> so Mr. Brown, so Mr. Brown was so Mr. Brown. I think he was like one of the better kid. One of the, he was the one of the one of the better kids at the YMCA. That's not saying much. No, oh, yeah. Because we had some bad kids. I mean, yeah. I mean, Charlie has won two championships. Hey, 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 hey. Mr. Brown <laughs> has won two championships playing soccer. Yeah, so they were like just goofing around playing soccer. I was like, I think we there's a time where it was finally like everyone, uh, as no one knows, everyone grouped out at the end. So the people, because people were just missing around three three thirty. So we had a big soccer game. And you just see this little poor little Mr. Brown just get absolutely plummeted to the ground <laughs> by the kid who's like five five foot six. And you remember Mr. Brown's like five one, five two. Mr. Brown is not five one, not five anymore. Two. Not anymore, bro. No, 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 I'm talking about this is at the time of the recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This time. Uh, oh yeah. So he, we're like, we're checking him, see he's okay. He's like. No worries. I'll get these guys next time and score three goals. Oh, that is a, that's a crazy statement. I'm gonna get this guy next time. Three goals, Mr. Brown. Three goals. We're proud of you, Mr. Brown. Yeah, love that kid. We what love a, that what kid. a stud of a kid, you know. So is, is that is the actor? Okay, it is. Okay, that's what I that's what I thought his name was. He's a dance move. Think about it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So. Coach Moore, right? Yeah. Or Coach Cavs. Mr. Cavs. Mr. Cavs. We, put, we put a nickname out there. My brain no, I'm not mad. editing every time we say his name. I'm not editing that. We're going to get mad at Oh, Cavs is going to get mad at What did you say, huh? <laughs> no. Uh, so, I don't have him anymore. Uh, nice guy, right? I, I appreciate all the time I've done with him, right? Yeah, of course. I just got tired of it, man. Dude, him I, yelling at us saying we're not we're not good anymore, crap like that. And then like the crap he used to do to me was like he put me against like the the one ninety one ninety guy, right? Yeah, you bumped pound, up weight classes. 20, 20, two weight classes, bro. Two weight classes. So you're like you're like you're like a you finding a Wesley. Yeah. <sighs> Don't dude, <laughs> dude, let me say this. When we were at a hotel, I was cutting weight. I was in a bathtub. I was in a bathtub, got the water on max, it's steaming, it's hot. Wesley, I swear to God. Kicks down my door, says I have to take a shit. 
<laughs> and is pooping right next to me while I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to lay down. Oh there's a curtain, and then there's Wesley on the other side pooping, bro. So, so no disrespect bro, to Wesley. You, you just gave me flashbacks, bro. Flashbacks. <laughs> Wesley's a big dude. Big heavyweight. So, He's our we, heavyweight. He was. Bro. We were. We were. I think a sophomore. My He's trying to cut, bro. He's trying to go down to 120 or two or 220. Oh, I'm just oh, saying. God. So, I think oh, it's my sophomore year, and I see this guy. I know the time I didn't know it was Wesley. And yeah. we're coming up and he's like, he's like, he's like, what's up, big boy? I'm like, you bigger than I am. Oh god, bro. <laughs> like at the bigger time. Than Titties, bro. I was like, I was 185 at the time. Bro was 210, 220. Or maybe a little bigger than that. He's like, what's up, big boy? I'm like, oh my god. Dude, so he, he's a big boy. we're playing football, right? And we're playing like, we're playing like, like, we're playing football. I catch it on him. He's like, I won't get you, you'll get me next time. I won't get you up. Like he said. I want you, you won't get me, get me next time. Yeah, sorry, stutter. stutter. Boom. So, so <laughs> yeah. Trotter throws the ball again, and bro just fucking all four shoves me on the ground. <laughs> and at this point, I'm like, I'm like, uh oh. Wesley just put the hurt on you. Yeah, at that point, he made you his personal little bitch, huh? I, I, I I'm, I'm I, glad he's a lineman. He needs to be a God. lineman. Ginger ninja. What? Ginger ninja. Ginger Ninja? Do you remember that? I don't think so. Yeah, Ginger Ninja. Ginger Ninja. Okay, okay. I want I want some backstory. What happened? What was right. Ginger Ninja? So, I'm gonna you you gave me flashbacks about the bathtub, bro. Yeah. So we're we're at the uh one of the summer camps, right? Not the not the previous one, but the one before that. Yeah. I'm I got I got room with uh. Twin Peaks and Ginger Ninja and Mr. Bird, right? What a stacked room. Bro, it was, <laughs> it was the best. Bro, who's Ginger Ninja? <laughs> so, you know what? So, we got the, we got the, uh, the, the shower curtain, bro. Yeah. We put, like, we put it midway down, like, so we could, like, have conversations in the bathroom. So, it's like somebody's taking a shit while we're taking a shower or whatever. Because <laughs> you had to take, like, three showers a day. Yeah, right, yeah. So, like, we, we were, like... We were like bonding, bro. We didn't give a crap. We were like, uh, we we've seen you junk our junk before. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, we're like on. we're all brothers, really. Yeah. So, uh, we had like the hat curtain down. <laughs> Coach Moore, Coach Moore comes in, bro. <laughs> I have a towel wrapped around me. I'm walking in the like I'm I'm in the kitchen, bro, getting a snack or something. Coach Moore walks in, like, so so what's up? <laughs> Whatever, like that. And he's like, where's Sam at? <laughs> I'm not editing it out. Sam was, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, Sam. Yeah. Do it, so do we're it. like, Gin, we're like, oh, Gin, Gin, so, Gin, Gin, so, okay. so it's like, yeah, he's in the bathroom with Tyler. We're, it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he's in the bathroom having a conversation with Tyler. We got the curtain down halfway. He's like, ah, oh, it's smart, man. We can have bonding time. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, that was like the fuck. Like I have some worse things about <laughs> Ginger Ninja, bro. That was <laughs> bro. Oh, oh wow, dude. Coach Moore. Every time I've had a, a hotel room, he's always had the keys. Like the master key to get to the rooms, right? I remember last time we had a tournament. It was the state. It was actually state tournament for the duels, team duels. Uh-huh. Dude, I remember I had we stocked oh. up our mini fridge with food that we weren't gonna eat. By the way, I had drinks and stuff. I remember I'm in my I'm I'm naked. I'm in my underwear, right? I open the fridge. Coach Moore opens the door and he sees me in this position right here. <laughs> I stand up for like a good minute. He's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Oh, getting getting drinks." He's like, "Huh?" I remember, I remember, I remember 45 minutes later. I might like, I ran out of drink. I go to get a new one. I'm down there getting a the drink. He opens the door. Again. What is this time? And then he's like, "Every time I catch you, every time I open this door, you look suspicious." <laughs> And I was like, Coach, you just have terrible timing. <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, it's time to test timing. just shits himself. All right. <laughs> now, but this is a great time to talk about our Magnum sponsorship. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. So look, if you ever think about going raw, like my boy Uncle Titty's here. What? Uh, I'm the last person who's going to do it. Yeah. You'll, <laughs> you'll be the virgin until like what? College? Probably. Junior year? So, I was hoping sophomore, but... Uh, 20 bucks is junior. How old, wait, what? In college? Yeah. Now, Titties, he's in high school, but, you know, he doesn't get play. I mean, neither do I, but. 
Well, <laughs> uh, okay, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, we'll, no, we're not bringing up the trans person right now. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll bring that up off camera. We're gonna edit that out. We're gonna edit that yeah, out. no, I'm not editing that. Out. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna edit that. Out. But yeah, buy the Magnum condoms, the double XL. Let me tell y'all a story about the first time I bought Magnum condoms. <laughs> I was with Michael. We went to the, uh, the the store, the corner store. We walk in. Michael buys an energy drink. I buy. Only a pack of extra large Magnum condoms. Oh, hypothetically. No, 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 no hypothetical. This is what happened. We walk up to the uh, the Indian dude working in the corner store, obviously. Hector. <laughs> Hector? I don't know. And uh, remember, he, we, Mike sits down his uh, energy drink, the monster. I sit down my Magnums, and we both look at the guy. And from retro, like, just looking at it, it looks like... These two guys are about to have gay sex, oh, and no. they have energy drinks to keep it going for a while. Oh, welcome back. Oh, my God. What are you going to use your condom for? Oh, these, these condoms are used for gay sex, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. We're but, getting canceled. Real shit. <laughs> I love Hector. Hector's shop is the best shop yeah. at the corner store. We know, like, Hector is like, I walk in there one time, I get my energy drink, and I have, like, a donut or something, and I'm a dollar store. He's like... You're good, you're good. I'm like, oh, that that's a G right there. G right there. I, I, I probably spent about $500 on that shop. But what a G. I know. And he sells, and he sells vapes to underage children. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> We're going to get it canceled. <laughs> no, <laughs> dude. I did that. I did that. I did that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. Uh. <laughs> uh. All right, well. Yeah, we've been going for 45 minutes, man. Like, this is about the time as long. It's how long I masturbate for. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we're not going to get into this conversation. <laughs> right. Not on this one. You better, you better. You know what I mean? So we're in the hotel for uh, this uh, team state, right? Yeah. We're going to get some cabin stories into this when he gets. So I have, to, I'm rooming with uh, Mason Mud. L. Oh, Big how L. was Cody, that? Coding Starling. Oh, another L. And Michael Outman. W, my cock small, P-size cock. Midget oh, by Mike. the way, by the way, congratulations, my cock small. Unfortunately, you couldn't be here because we're roasting the absolute shit out of you. No, you can't defend yourself right now. <laughs> but uh, but when you come beat her ass, it's all right. Ah, he's 5'2", bro. I'll set my nuts on the shit. <laughs> all right, so Mason Mud, right? We had to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning Jeez. that day. That tournament, you were there, you fool. You know that. Oh yeah, I was there. I remember we had to wake up earlier because some people had to cut weight, well, yeah. and he wanted us to get like well, I got a free weight check. I got up early because I was five pounds under, and I could go to the, the freaking buffet for the freaking yeah, breakfast good. buffet. Bar. I remember I robbed the buffet. There was I took everything from the buffet. Well, we we got there like to what like ten o'clock at night in the buffet. Like the buffet was just like cracked open. We raided the freaking raided. kitchen, dude. Raided, I remember. Like, I remember. You know the where they keep all the snacks sa- in the hotel, cereals, bro. We got all the yeah. cereals and the milk, bro. I had like three p- cartridges. Of cereal and like two containers of milk, bro. That was the best night of my life. Well, we robbed them blind. They had nothing. And then else. I had a gallon of ice cream that night. I love me some ice cream, bro. I look, look. I I tell you what, for women out there, you ever cheat on me with my best friend? You buy me a gallon of ice cream, I might take you back, bro. I'm, I'm like a gallon of ice cream fixes everything for Are me. Are you for real? Yes, Chris. Yes. So hypothetically. Hypothetically. For the sake of the argument. For the sake of the argument. If I just just yell a racial slur at you. And I buy you pine ice cream. Your feelings would feel better. Oreo, <laughs> Oreo ice cream, and uh, reverse Oreo. This ice is cream. how we. This is how we fix racism, guys. Yes, ice buy cream. ice cream. Come on, Joe Biden logic. <laughs> Bro, but uh, Mason Mud, right? Yeah. He called. He called. He was calling girls on all, all night, bro. We were like, wait, wait! I hate it when people are like with their friends and they're like, "Yo, where's the hose, bro?" Like, you have no game. No, no, there, there's a reason there's no hose. So he has no game. He has no game. He has no game. He's the type of guy and to say, you're so calling, beautiful, baby. He's, he's you know, um, oh, uh, maybe that's why I don't have any hopes. Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, Miss uh, Maya Murr. Mm. Miss Maya, you know what I'm saying? Who that is? Nope, I don't know. I'll show you. No, no, show you. Show you. Yeah, holy moly, girl. I'm about to poop my pants. Oh, my God. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> this thing that's not going to be usable again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there's I'm like a, little. There's a little just little poop though. stains in there, bro. Oh, I got to go to work tomorrow, dude. It's going to be freezing. Imagine cold. being employed. You know what I got to do tomorrow? I got to go down and play FIFA. Division 4. If you want to play me in FIFA, Twisted Fighter 1. Run me my fade, bro. I swear to God. On my left testicle. This all super good. It's left testicle. Shut the fuck up, Chris. Before I will use some our sponsorship Magnum condoms on you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Possible sponsorship? Dude, 
Get on That's the, the goal is to get them to legitimately sponsor us. And if they do, I will like use all the money, put it back into the show, and this will get like cooler. Yeah, I, I want. We need to get Joe Rogan in here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan in here would be wild. No, 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 no. Theo Vaughn would be wild. Dude, Theo. Bro, if me and Theo Vaughn were in the same room, we'd find new sexual transmitted diseases, like the like Ethanitis. Ethan. The peacock. Eat the Vaughn and itis, bro. The Eat pe- the Vaughn the and peacock? itis. You put your cock gets small each time. Whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 I got part Russian and Iranian. You can't say that. Do <laughs> Russians have big dicks? I've never watched Russian porn. All right, so I don't know. Russian women are very beautiful, but uh, I've never seen Russian. No, porn. it goes from some of them like it goes. It's fifty fifty. Some of them are really good, or some of them. It's kind of like Asians. Nah, yeah. Asians all got small dicks. Yeah, have you not seen that? Everything like oh, uh, is his name is on everybody event everybody. Yeah, and he did the race stats. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I see that. Oh, I love that so Wait, dude, have you seen that? Uh, oh, there's a Netflix thing. Hold on, let me switch this to everyone. Holy shit, it's everyone. Have you seen, like, the, uh, the Netflix, uh, what's it called, bro? The, uh, fuck. This girl, who's girl? This girl, who? Let me see, let me see. So you call, you call her, right? So hold it steady. God! Man, she ain't even that bad. She ain't, so, she started flirting, so, so, I had her in third. I had her in fourth block with my science class. Right oh, we're not gonna show the picture of this girl just because they want to hide the information. Yeah, you know, we so, don't want to get banned yet. So, um, I had her in fourth block the uh, semester before uh, second semester, right? Yeah. So, I was already dating a girl at that time, but she had feelings for me. I, I didn't know about that. Hey, man, there's nothing wrong with having two. And then. I woke up with my, uh, my ex girlfriend, right? Yeah. And uh, Mason calls her, and then she, he goes, "So who who would you most likely date out of this?" And he, she goes, "She says my name." Oh yeah. So I got the digits that way. Hell yeah. And then I dated her for like two days, and then her friends convinced her to break up with me. I hate her. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna say her name because she doesn't want to be named. But I was dating this girl, and uh, she was like. Yeah, all my gay friends keep telling me to break up with you because you pooped on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I was like, I will beat all your gay friends. Oh, asses, I think, bro. wait, I think I know what this one is. You know what it is. Don't say, don't say, don't say any names or anything. Okay, okay. But like, dude, gay people, you need to stop cock blocking oh, me, bro. That, uh... Don't say, don't say names, don't say names, but yeah. That... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, with, I, with, uh, what's it, uh, I know who you're Yeah, I hate, I hate, dude, I hate, I hate when gay people do that. They'd be like, this with man is not good for you, bro. Like, shut up. Good lift now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so. Oh, crap, it's not recording. Hold on, hold on.